Okay, hey guys, uh, this is how to determine what sort of RAM you've got. Um, different motherboards are different type of RAMs, either DDR1, 2 or 3. Uh, and you need to make sure that you've got the same uh, type to put back in it. Uh, so what you can do is go in the description and load up a little program called CPUZ. Once you open this, uh, it basically gives you a sort of an overview of everything that's inside your computer. So you've got CPU, cache, mainboard, memory. Um, what I'm going to go to do is memory, and you'll see the type here is DDR3. Uh, so you want to make sure you buy exactly the same type. Uh, what you also want to do is just uh, Google the motherboard. Uh, M. Uh, oh wait, there we go. Motherboard. So just open this. Uh, this takes you to the website and basically just look under specifications, go to memory uh, and you'll see the maximum number uh, amount of memory sorry you can put in, uh, the type it takes and the, the frequency that it operates at. So you want to get one that's, you know, you want to get one that uh, your motherboard can take. Uh, you can see mine takes 1333 and 1066 and 2000 if it's overclocked. Uh, just make sure that these numbers appear or one of these numbers appear on the front of your stick of RAM uh, to just make sure that it works fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you how to put it in there. Okay, hi there. Welcome to uh, video four. I'm going to call it. I think it's video four. Uh, but yeah, basically today, if it's not, the title will say different. So yeah, you'll, you'll know if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, basically today is going to be installing RAM uh, and how to do it. Uh, this is actually really, really simple. Probably the simplest, simplest thing you can do. Um, I've got two sorts here. I've got a th there we go, a thin one and a thick one. Basically, uh, as long as it's the right type for your motherboard, which I should have explained earlier, um, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but yeah, my motherboard takes DDR3, this is DDR3, so uh, yeah, all you want to do is... Actually, no, I'm going to change the camera angle because I think you can probably see it better from the other side. Okay, a bit of a jaunty angle, but uh, I think it's probably clearer because I haven't got the uh, heat sink in the way. Uh, let me just open up this... this. RAM. Um, anyway, yeah, basically this is the RAM. Uh, you want to just push down all of these clips, top and bottom. That's what locks the RAM into place, or push up, I suppose. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you'll notice if you look at it, there's like the slots for it to go in. It's actually got a little notch just in one in one place. Mine's there. Uh, I know you can't see it, but that is where it is. Uh, and you'll notice that with the RAM, it's got a little notch there. Oops, spacky finger as well. So you know which way around it goes. Um, there's always an A and a B. Um, a is usually the one on the far left and the one two in or yeah. So it's like basically it goes from left to right A B A B. You can see the colours on here. So both blue are A, both black are B. Um, and yeah, if you're installing more than two sticks of RAM, actually no, if you're installing any RAM uh, greater than one stick, first one always goes in A. Second one always goes in the corresponding A slot, uh, and then it'll be B, and then B. A, A, B, B. Um, you'll see it when I put it in, but just thought I'd mention that. Easy component to install, he says. Just slot it in, push it down a little bit, and make sure the clips are in. Doesn't come out, make sure it wobbles, not too much. Uh, not too much, <laughs> great English. Uh, and yeah, so that sticks in. Now if I can open the second one. Bloody Chinese packaging. Yes. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we're in. We are in. Okay, so here's my second stick. It's just a bit smaller. Oops. Pushing that into the other blue one. So I've now got two sticks, one on the far left, I've got a space, and then I've got this one, and then there's another space. That's how you put it in. That's the order you put it in. Uh, again, if it's a new motherboard, your motherboard should refer to that. So just push it in and clip it in. There we go, one side in. 
and there's a second. So there you go, that's your RAM. Very easy. Uh, very easy to change, to upgrade. Um, just one quick quick thing. Um, anything over 4 gig, or 4 gig and over I should say, you need you really need a 64 bit operating system because it just doesn't use the full potential otherwise. It'll use maybe 3 gig out of it. 3.5 at a push. Uh, so yeah, that's just something to uh, to note that if you're upgrading your RAM, you might need to update your OS as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the next video in the series. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already.